Well, this is uh, my two cents, maybe number three. And, um, well, first I'd like to start with a little thing, um, just a bit of um, housekeeping. As usually I've been using my flip camera, but it seems that my flip camera just simply stopped working after all these years. And you can't get another one of those, I don't think. They stopped making them, I think. I guess it was old, but it's quite strange. I'm trying to revive it by putting it in its plug and letting it sit, but I don't see anything really, really happening. Anyway, well to start with, I found an article that is by, I guess somebody involved in psychology, that uh, talks about things that I sort of already knew, that I've considered before, that I've pondered before, that I've worried about before. Mm, but not in the extreme. This person doesn't propose it in the extreme, to the extreme lengths that I thought it, that I think it's possible. It's an article about how the internet, search engines, Google in particular, can really influence our minds and what we think, and um, influence things like elections and so on and so forth. It talks about the, the old thing in the movie theater back in the late 50s, I think it was, you know, where they subliminally showed um, popcorn or whatever, or maybe a soft drink, I don't know, and people ran off to get popcorn and a soft drink. Although then it said how that's not so um, such a strong motivator as you might think. You already have to be hungry or thirsty for that to, for that to work. It seemed to suggest that uh, what was going on was more subtle, not as blatant, not as openly evil, although who knows, I have no idea. I often suspect that we're being uh, bombarded by all kinds of stuff that's meant to affect our minds <laughs> through the cell towers, through the internet, through wherever. So, 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 but it was interesting nonetheless about how search results. I've often noticed how the search results are tailored, especially when you um, have an account of Google, are tailored to you that somebody else might get a different set of search results than, uh, than you might get. And, um, but they seem to claim that it's a way of influencing especially undecided people, like an election or something just by the search results that they come up. Um, well, I thought that was fascinating nonetheless. And something to, um, to keep in mind that, you know, we're not just, um, it's not like we're the users of the internet. The internet is also using us. Google, I believe, in part was created, and from my opinion, this is speculation, to keep uh, track you know, of what's going on. Although at the same time, we seem to be able to, um, I guess, gain knowledge. It's, it's very, it's a, it's, it's a very, it's something to wonder about how it's uh, affecting our minds though, the whole time that we're using the internet. I'm sure it is. Anyway, the thing I really wanted to talk about was Plan B in Syria. Plan B is this idea that they're going to break up the country and divide it into sort of um, sections by ethnicity, sort of cantons. You know, but I wanted to take it a step beyond that because, you know, I've often wondered why. What do they get out of it? I mean, why do they say Assad must go? Why does the Gaddafi have to go? The same, you could even say the same with Saddam Hussein. It doesn't seem like they've gotten um, they've gotten much out of it. I mean, on the other hand, maybe this is some people would suggest that this is the plan. Many would suggest it's done for the benefit of uh, of Israel. Apparently, there were some um, documents from a long time ago that sort of suggested many you know much of what has come to pass in the Middle East, but in particular, 
since I'm talking about Syria, that Syria should be broken up into, uh, into pieces. Uh, if they manage to do that, you have to wonder, was plan B really plan A? And I get, I get the sense that it kind of was anyway. I mean, what, what were they hoping to accomplish in Syria? But the bigger question again is why? Why do they do it? Okay, thank you.